SOS by J. Fallenstein. The frothy, angry waves grow bigger, one foot high, two. Then they wash over the front of the kayak. Dad, Tyro yells over the screaming wind. The sea below swells, and the next wave is like a wall of steel rising up and then crashing hard, flipping the boat. Tyrell is under. He gasps, and the cold water rushes into his lungs. Air. He needs air. He kicks out the kayak. The icy water penetrates his wet to, to his skin, freezing his muscles. At last, he bobs to the surface and turns on his back, sputtering and coughing out salt water. Help! Help! He yells. Tyrell sets up. The attic is dark, a dull late October twilight. From the corner comes the hum of a small space heater. Tyrell, his mom calls as she hurries up to the top of the narrow stairs, her face pale and drawn. She sits on his bed and her hands go to his cheeks. Another dream, she says. Tyrell falls back and she swipes the back of her hand over his slick forehead. It happened again, Tyrell says. The rogue wave flipping us. I drowned all over again. In the book, we follow Tyrell, a young man recovering at home from a kayak accident that almost killed him and left his father in the hospital recovering. One night at midnight, he's woken up by a strange light flashing the window of the abandoned factory down the road. The light appears again the next night, signaling SOS. When Tyrell tries to help the mysterious signal, he notices a ghost girl dressed in white holding a pair of scissors. Who is she? Why only at midnight? Only, the only way to find out is by checking out our copies that are available at the Joe Guerra Public Library as well as the McHenrico Salinas Branch Library. Ebook copies are also available via Hoopla on our library's website, www.laredolibrary.org. Join us on Zoom as we discuss SOS by Jay Fallenstein for this year's Beat the Heat Summer Reads.